Filipino American stage play production based on the classic Jose Rizal novel Noli Mitangere is set to premiere this month at an annual fringe theater festival in Hollywood. Hashtag Don't is a new and modern take on Noli Mitangere with the intention of reigniting political and social awareness among Filipinos both in the Philippines and in the United States. Joining us now live via Zoom from Los Angeles, California, are Mike uh, Talplacido. He is the creator and producer of Hashtag Don't and Ariana Basco, who plays the role of Siza. Good morning to you both uh, from Manila and of course, good afternoon to you in LA. I mean, I hope you're doing well. Mike, let's start with you. Yeah. Um, you <laughs> Mike, you are the brains, the creator, producer, writer. I mean, you're the guy that actually put this all together. My question is, would be the how, when, why did this all come about? And why did you do, or why did you decide to make a play based on Noli Mitangere? Yeah, absolutely. Good morning to all the viewers in the Philippines. Shout out to my Kababayans in Nueva Ecija and my dad is watching. So about the show, hashtag don't, as a screenwriter, since I grew up in the Philippines, I've always been interested in really writing a story about our history, about our identity. So growing up in the Philippines, No Limit Angere and Jose Rizal, they've always been part of my education. And so when I pursued being a screenwriter, being a playwright, I really wanted to make sure that I have a little bit of history also included in my projects. So Hashtag Don't specifically came about during the pandemic. I thought that uh, Rizal's work is perfect because it's a staple for understanding Philippine history. And the reason, the why, you know, during the pandemic, I spent a lot of time talking to a lot of Filipino Americans on my podcast, Kiss My Mic, and a lot of them really wanted to learn more about our history, connect our culture, and that's really how it all started. It was really with the idea of bringing history and hopefully the Filipino American community and maybe even the global Filipinos can can also learn about our culture. So that's really the reason, Christine. But, but, but a little bit about the story, as I understand it, you started um, writing this, what, way back in like 2022. It started out as a screenplay, uh, uh, something for, for TV, right? Then all of a sudden, no, let's just do it. Um, let's stage this, this, this whole story. A little bit about the story. I know it's not your typical No Limit Angere. Not at all, definitely. There's a lot of new twists that's in store for the audience. The story has been modernized to make sure that we, it can be relatable to today's audience. One thing I want to say, a few of the changes, I'm not going to give any spoilers, but it's for the people to watch. Uh, the first thing is, you know, we tried to reverse the gender of Chrysostomo Ibarra, who is the main protagonist, as we all know, in the Philippines, and then turning him into a female character named Chris Ibarra. And basically, we've kept the characters. Maria Clara is there. Damaso is there. But their characterizations are going to be a little bit different to reflect really the new modern modern uh, take, you know, th whatever they are right now. So that's one thing to expect, you know, the character of Sisa, she's here today, Ariana. She's also another iconic character. You know, I'm super excited really to share kind of what we've done with this, with this show, Christine. And since you did mention Siza, let me switch over to you, Ariana. I mean, speaking of women empowerment, you play the role, uh, the popular role here as Siza. A little bit about your character here. How different uh, would it be, if you're allowed to say, how different would it be from the actual Noli Metangere um, to what is actually being staged now in Hashtag Don't? Sisa, uh, thank you for having us. Um, Sisa is quintessentially an oppressed Filipino of the 18th century. And on, in this take, um, she has, I would say, more of, a, more of a, an arc. You get to see where Sisa has an opportunity to take what's happening to her throughout the play and really um, transform and become, and become more powerful and take her life into her her own hands, which which she didn't have the opportunity to do in the novel. So I think it's a great take how Mike how Mike was able to twist that character. I'm really excited to share it with everyone.
That's right. And well, actually, both of you are not new to production. I mean, you've done, you've both done like short films, uh, you know, Mike for uh, To Ken With Love and, and Ariana, you do have the glimmer. What's it like, though, um, working on a stage production? I mean, um, this was actually more geared more towards a TV series. And then, you know, let's just make it a stage play. How differ, difficult or different was it for you, Mike? And, you know, tell me a little bit about the culture um, in in the U.S. and wanting to learn more about a Filipino history. Yeah, absolutely. So well, I, you mentioned earlier, Christine, that I originally wrote this as a seven-part limited TV series, and I still have a goal to maybe bring it as a TV series. But you know, it's very hard to really produce something, you know, as a TV series, and so I wanted to see it, you know, really soon <laughs> and happen soon. So I think it was that time that I decided to convert this into a stage play because I think, you know, there's pros and cons to really doing a TV show and also a stage play. You know, all all in all, it's it's we're all excited because we're sharing a story, the stage play. You got to see it live. You know, the energy yes. of people is different. And, you know, I think we're just really excited. So, yeah, that's that's how it goes, Christine. And, and, and not only that, but, but Ariana, I mean, how excited are you on all Filipino cast? True? It's, it's yes. incredible. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's incredible. So you were saying about film versus stage, for yeah. sure. Me and my brothers, we did the fabulous Filipino Brothers. Yes, which yes. Which is available on, on Netflix in the Philippines. Um, and that's... You know, you're working with family and you get to cut if something doesn't work. And in a play, because we spend so much time together, we become a play. And that's, you know, that's no less for this production of Hashtag Don't. They're all wonderful folks. And when it's go time, we don't have any cuts. So that's, that's one of the major differences between film and stage. But also um, with film, we have different locations. And with theater, we really have to take Mike's words which, as he said, it was originally written as an episodic mm -hmm. and sort out how does that play in one location? How creative can we get with creating these locations in one location simultaneously sometimes? Because some of these scenes are written like a montage sequence, things yeah. are happening, you know, at the same time. So. That's right. Well, I'm sure you and Mike can do it. I mean, I mean, Ariana here, you are recognized as the first Filipino entertainment family <laughs> in California. I mean, with that, thank you so much. We understand that it will um, be staged June 4th to the 25th. Um, thank you so much for joining us and, of course, for sharing this wonderful stage play. Hashtag don't with us here on New Day. All the best to you. And we do have more entertainment news.